Tonight, it's a great honor to uh, present the Great Norman Medal to Hannah Green. Hey, hey. How does it feel to be up here tonight wearing a medal named after one of the great players and handed over by one of the great players? How does it feel? It's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> obviously, two of the greatest players to come out of Australia and um, you know, inspiration to most of us in the room. So it's definitely an honour to be here tonight and be in this position. Give a wave to the man. There he is. <laughs> Hi, Greg. How's it going? <laughs> Congratulations, Hannah. I have a couple of questions for you, Hannah. You know, and uh, every every professional golfer that's come here, whether it's myself, whether it's one of the great players in that, that night, uh, if we have a great out here, um, we sit back at the end of the year and we know how and why. What nuggets did you take away from 2019 that will get you ready for 2020? Um, I mean, I guess 2019 has been a roller coaster of the year. Um, obviously, really great to have won two championships this year, but it means a bit more added pressure for next year. But I'm really excited to be starting my season at the Vic Open. Um, obviously, playing in front of a home crowd is great, and all of us Australians don't get the opportunity to always do that. So when it, when we you know play, it's great to be there. So um, it's going to be difficult for next year, but. Um, it, I'm really excited. Um, hopefully, some new opportunities next year. But um, yeah, I can't wait for it to begin. So, speaking of new opportunities, um, do you look at the Olympics of 2020 as one of those opportunities that you really want to set your goals for? Yeah, definitely. Um, seeing Sue and Minji, who I've grown up playing junior golf with, to play in 2016, um, it was definitely a goal of mine to get into that team in 2020. And um, this year has definitely given me a, a good opportunity to be in that team. So I'm really excited and hope that I can clinch a spot. Well, Hannah, look, uh, congratulations. I know I've watched you this, uh, this 2019, and as we close out the decade of 2019, all I can tell you is uh, watching your swing and watching your attitude on the golf course, I can see 2020, the next decade, uh, and beyond being ultra successful with many awards coming and trophies coming your way. So congratulations on winning the Greg Norman Medal tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> Greg, thanks for joining us, mate. A great honour. Thank you, everybody. And, and to you and your family, have a, a wonderful Christmas and hope to see you back home soon. Yeah, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Bring in the new decade with... Uh, Aussie style, okay? <laughs> I love the beard. See you, mate. You. Curry, just come in. Um, you, you're one of the trailblazers of women's golf in this country. I don't think it's been in a better spot, and it's only going to get better. Would that, would that sum it up after we've seen this young lady's performance in 2019? Um, thanks for calling me a trailblazer, Craig. I say it nicely. I say it nicely. <laughs> but no, um, it, it's such an honour for me to be here tonight. Uh, I feel like uh, it's kind of a full circle moment for me, um, uh, presenting the Greg Norman Medal. Uh, Greg, um, I was uh, the first uh, uh, winner of the Greg Norman Junior Masters, and uh, Greg uh, generously uh, had the girls and boys winner over to his house in Florida. Um, it was the only year he did it, so we must have been a pain in the ass. But um, I'll never forget uh, the experience uh, that um, I had that week, um, you know, living um, and breathing a whole week um, uh, with, with your uh, idol that I'd grown up since I was little. I, mean, I told after watching Greg Norman play the 1986 Queensland Open down at Tweed, uh, Coolangatta Tweed, um, I came home and told my parents that I wanted to be a professional golfer. So, um, you know, getting to meet him, um, for me tonight it's a full circle because uh, my uh, pay it forward uh, was uh, and is the Kari Webb series. Um, and so um, to have Hannah uh, win uh, the KPMG Women's PGA this year uh, and getting to watch her do it. Um, was uh, really, really uh, fun for me. And, um, and Finchie gave me permission to cry because he already did it, so. 
I'm trying to beat him and not, not get there. But um, yeah, it's just a full circle moment um, to be able to present uh, the Greg Norman Medal uh, to one of my scholarship winners. Well done. Thanks. Well done. Harry, stay with us. You think you got off lightly with Greg, didn't you? All right, let's get, get away from golf. What, what do you like? I know you like Western, whatever they're called over in Perth, Rugby Union? Or Twiggy Forest, by it. Oh, I mean, I don't really, I shouldn't say this, but I don't yeah, you really say what you like. much sport. I'm you don't? Really bad. That's all right. You like sushi? <laughs> I jump on the bag wagon. You like sushi? Yeah, I like the cowboys. Likes the cowboys. <laughs> yeah. What do you do to relax, Hannah? When you're away, you, you talk about pressure in golf, and there's so much on you young people. But what do you do? What do you like to do? Um, to be quite honest, I don't really do anything when I'm at home. Um, I don't get the luxury to really have many weeks off, so when I am back in Perth, I like to catch up with friends, family. Um, pr most of the time I won't touch a club for about a week and then I'll get back into practicing, so it's a pretty you know, boring lifestyle, but no, it's not. It's, um, I guess everyone, some people in this room know what it's like, but when I'm back at home, I want to stay at home. Stay at home, and, and when you do have a break, do you take your clubs or do you shut them in the cupboard and say, I'll see you in two weeks? Um, yeah, no, I, sh I definitely uh, keep them in the bag. Um, in the travel case at least, um, don't touch them. I'm pretty good with taking time off. Uh, I don't feel too guilty about not practicing. So. It's a, but it's balance. Yeah. And if you get the balance right, like you have and will do in the future, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Now, I'm sure there's a couple of people you'd like to thank. Yeah, absolutely. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the ALPG and also the PGA and obviously Greg Norman for having this medal. Um, I have to thank my mum and dad. Obviously, they both got me into sport. My dad is the golfer, but my mum was the taxi driver. Um, so I have to thank them, they're back at home. Um, I have to thank this person standing right next to me. Um, I never really knew what it was like to play professional golf and until I went to the US Open with Kari, I never had the luxury of going to Australian Opens or um, Ladies Masters or anything like that to watch. So going to that US Open was a real eye opener for me and um, kind of you know, put me on my way to trying to get out there myself. So I have to th thank Kari. And, um, my coach, Richie, who won an award tonight, uh, he's a great coach and like he said before, the team that he works with, I've been working with them, um, Marty, Jordan, Mackie and Ryan. Um, I couldn't have done it without you guys and hope, you know, we can continue the success for the rest of my career. Well said. <laughs> well said.